what does it mean to be unemployed in the uk what does it mean to be a first gen in the uk and what does it mean to be a fresh graduate in the uk in this video i'm going to be sharing all the dates and gist about that so grab your tea grab your coffee grab your popcorn and sit down let's get into this gist I have in the last couple of months tasted and eaten, have a taste of it of what it means to be unemployed in the UK. That as much as I am unemployed, as much as I don't have a job, I am still able to raise money to be able to pay my rent, to be able to feed. What I mean is that even in as much as I don't have a permanent job that is nine to five, there are many jobs that you can do that you can use to pay your bills, like your essential bills, which is your rent and feeding. And thankfully, I registered with some of these part-time jobs and I'll do shift, washing. If you follow me on TikTok, you know how realistic I am. I don't hide. I don't try to cover anything up. No, I show it the way it is, like washing plates. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know what I mean. <laughs> We are cleaning rooms to make money and also you are still able to make money but is it easy it's still not easy because being unemployed in the uk and having part-time jobs and this many jobs means that you don't own your time you can't plan your day you can't plan anything you may still be home till maybe 9 a.m and you don't see a shift or 12 and the next hour you see a shift that is available that is starting by one and the next thing you're running you know to meet up with the shift to go there as you're coming back you're booking another shift because you have bills to pay and you are going so sometimes you end up going for shift from 2 2 p.m to 2 a.m in the night you come back there's another shift you have to do sometimes you have to do overnight shift and then you come back tired and your time is not organized at all so it is very very stressful but as much as it's stressful at least you can still do that to raise money and what makes it even more stressful is the fact that uh, you have to still be submitting applications so when i come back from this shift i'm still submitting application writing applications for jobs writing applications for fellowships and all that i have to submit you know because of course the long-term goal is is better it's better you prepare for that as well so i can't just be doing shifts and raising money to pay the now bill for getting long-term thing so it hasn't really really been easy which is extremely stressful for some of us yes it is stressful if you wash plates for one hour it's fun but if you stand for eight hours washing plates is no longer fun if you stand for eight hours you know restocking things in the supermarket is no longer fun if you stand for eight hours mm -hmm, cleaning bending cleaning rooms making bed carrying duvets to make bed in these hotels it is no longer fun it is extremely extremely stressful oh yes you are not completely completely unemployed but you don't have a permanent job you don't have a brain job you have physical job which is somehow very very stressful so this has been the life of us we graduate yes everything is not rosy everything is not well you know and to be like a first gen you are like the first of your kind in this country oh my god for people like me like it means that there is nobody that you can run to there is nobody that will give you any free money there is nobody that will give you any free food there is nobody that will give you any free accommodation no everything you have to do you have to work for it everything you own you have to work for it and even if you become homeless today you don't have any family member that will take up your burden and you do not want to leave your burden on friends that you've just met or that you've just made here is not possible so it puts that pressure on you it makes it extremely so hard because every time you have to think ahead to get things done yourself 
so yes life is not too easy but of course if you can do it in nigeria surely it prepares you for time like this and you go through it so some of you who think that because they are abroad and they're having everything so easy and no everything is not just so easy i'm very sure in nigeria you will not want to wash plates in nigeria you don't want to go and do cleaner jobs go and be cleaning toilet to make money but we do it here to make money to pay our bills without joy because that's what is going to give you money so if you're planning to come to the uk first of all prepare prepare your mind with your open heart know that um coming to the uk does not automatically guarantee riches it does not automatically guarantee that everything is going to be well everything is going to be rosy no you have to work for it you have to work so hard for every penny every uh pound you make here and you have to prepare to go all out to make it so in some being unemployed in the uk does not mean you're completely unemployed you can take up many jobs that will feed you for the meantime and which is extremely stressful but it means that your time is not yours in fact even time to communicate with your family and friends back home can become very 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 difficult and before you know it you're already feeling so lonely before you know it you're already distant from your family and uh, sometimes it is so difficult for them to understand what you're facing and for some people the only time people call you is when they want to bill you can you give me this point they don't even put into consideration the hard work you put into making this money you know people approach you like it's it's money is nothing people approach you like they are entitled to it people approach you like you don't work for it the only time they want you to fend for them is when they call you the only time they need you is when they call you for some people why paying this rent why doing this shift why going for all these activities to pay their rent they still have plenty of bills back home that they have to pay they still have many people they have to sponsor they have to do this and do that for this family member and all and then all the burden of the family member back home is on you and all the burden of yourself in this country is on you without nobody to share with you know and it can be so difficult to explain to people back home what some people are facing because they won't just understand if you say oh i'm stressed they'll be like your own is better your own is better that you are there like they never want to understand that you're human and they never want to understand and um try to you know understand what you feel they don't they will never understand so sometimes most people in this country most migrants most nigerians that i've met they don't even want to voice out they don't even speak out to their family members about what they face anymore because they won't even understand a couple of times i've tried to speak to like some friends to like explain my situation when they say oh so listen you're not picking our cause oh so listen you're not doing this i try to explain that see i came back from shifts by 3 a.m and i'm have another one so time to even check my phone and check whatsapp and all is not even there i have to constantly be on the move to work and when i'm not working i'm researching to submit applications to find something permanent they will not understand they just don't want to understand so sometimes people don't just want to even speak out anymore because people may not understand so it's 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 difficult it's difficult you know trying to have a grasp of everything and find your way and find your balance in this country is extremely difficult and i want to say kudos to everyone who's doing it kudos to all our black community members out there struggling hustling to pay bills and also send money back home i understand what you're going through even if nobody does i do understand and i pray that your labor will not be in vain in jesus name for people back home don't feel like people in the uk have extremely made it don't feel like they have everything that they want mm -mm. once in a while call them to check on them and ask them how they are doing not just when you need money before you call people to build them no call to check on them how are you doing my friend how is everything call to check on them because we all are still finding our path in this new world that we are in and to say it's easy is not at all 
it's 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 a lot of work a lot of physical and mental work that's going on here i remember one day i came back from this shift at 3 a.m and i had two job interviews so i woke up by 8 30 started preparing for the interview did the interview by 10 a.m after the interview i had another one by 12 i started preparing after that one i have a job i was supposed to start by two and then the one i went for by 12 p.m the interview i went for by 12 p.m i thought it to end by one so i can go for my shift by two but after the interview was about to end the interviewer was like oh we have a task for you and you have to do the task and submit it in one hour before we are able to consider i'm like what i have a shift that's starting i know when they sent the task see how i did the because if i cancel that shift now that time they can remove me from the app that i'm using to book a job so that was how like i was just speeding and rushing everything i was losing it in my mind and all so it is extremely not easy and you should give kudos to people that are doing this being in the uk does not mean you've made it you find your way no we are all still struggling to find our way we are all still here struggling to find what next give us a pat in the back and pray for us as well so for people who are planning to come prepare your heart to some of these things you're going to face if you're coming as a couple prepare your heart to these things prepare your mind prepare to adjust it because so many people marriage even break down when they come here because they are extremely not prepared for what they are coming to face that's why some of us are here sharing our experiences with you so that you are extremely prepared when you're coming so i hope you did enjoy this video okay? so if you're new in the uk tell me how you're feeling in the comment section if you're part of the category of people who are still finding their way like me put it in the comment section if you're planning to come to the uk and this video was helpful put it in the comment section make a comment there and i will see you next time in our next video keep shining goodbye